Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing Hell Fest. Now, this is a slasher. Uh, this is a good modern day slasher. I really do love Hell Fest. I think the acting was good, the group that you follow, because that's really what it is. It starts out with this, you know, this group of kids. They go to this haunted house. And I like that it has like a realistic factor going on. And you have this group of kids, you follow them. I really did love the whole cast. Thought that it was realistic. Um, Tony Todd is in this. That is the real highlight that Tony Todd is in this. And the kills are really solid in this. At first, you kind of think Tony Todd has something to do with what's going on. And I still think, that, like, I still think Tony Todd's character, for that his name. So I still think Tony Todd's character had something to do with it. Because he, you know, his character played off like that. The kills are really good. And the killer is very, very stalkative. Like, if that's even a word. Like, he loves to stalk this group. And he picks which ones he wants to stalk. And the mask the killer wears. I think that's a pretty cool looking mask. Um, the kills are good. The, the somewhat score that there is is pretty good. The ending is really good. Like, the ending shocked me. Because, like, when you find out... Um, also, when he has a daughter, but when you find out that one thing, when he opens up that cabinet, he goes, can we get a sequel, please? But then you find out we're never going to get a sequel, which I will get into in a minute. But Hellfest, it's one amazing ride. Love this film to death. I give it a 10 out of 10. You know, it feels like an 80s slasher. Like, it's one of the things I love about it. It feels like a late 80s slasher that's trying to revive the genre. That's what it feels like to me. Like, it feels like an 80s slasher because of this one city, you know, with this group and the way they acted, the kills. You know, they, they're they these kills and just everything that's around, you know, the killer's mask and all that seem very 80s ish. And, you know, Hellfest did not make a lot of money at the theaters. I wish I got to see it in the theaters and support it and go see it because it, it, it is a slasher. Uh, but, I, but I wasn't able to go see it, sadly. But I did just finish watching the film not too long ago. Um, actually, rewatching it because I saw it one time in, in June. I thought I reviewed it. Like, this is a film that I kept thinking I reviewed, but I never did. Then I, then I remember one time I reviewed it, but I messed the video up. I don't know, but we're reviewing it today, and I'm not messing the video up. Um, but yeah, this is just one amazing, fun ride of a film. Um, it didn't make a lot of money. You know, why I feel like it, this did not make a lot of money, because it's not a Michael Myers, it's not a Freddy. If Hellfest would have came out maybe in the 80s or the 90s, it could have gained more popularity and made more money. And it would be something that would be more talked about in the horror community. But since it came out in a time where Mike Myers is blowing up, Chucky's blowing up, slashes are, you know, the older slashes are coming back. There's really no new time for new slashers. And there has been time for new slashers. Like the film You're Next. Or the film Torment. Um, or um, Pumpkin Carver. Or some other films. There have been room for new slashers. I'm still. I'm too see no evil films. There has been room for new slashers. But either it's the studio. This not believing in the project. Or it's other things. You know. Realistically. If you want a new slasher, which I'll actually make a video on, if you want a new slasher to be dot, to be dominant, and make money and be popular and be as iconic as Michael and as Jason, then you have to push that character. You know, I'm not saying milk it, but if you have to, maybe do that for two films, then that's what you have to do. I hate, I hate using that word milking a franchise, but it's a new slasher you know at, at, at the end of the day so i don't know you know i feel like if hellfest would have came out in the 80s and 90s they had one film out 
and then then the next year they had the other film out then they waited two years to release part three then they kind of gave a gap between part four we, they kind of treated that like that it would have worked because Hellfest it's a really good solid slasher that I recommend you checking out but it works on an element. You have to be a hardcore horror fan, a hardcore slasher fan to appreciate it. You have to be a fan of the Jason films, the Michael films, because it's kind of a callback to that era when Halloween was in its prom, when Friday 13th was in its prom, when you know, Child's Play was in its prom. It, it really is a callback to those films, those 70s, 80s, those 90s slashers. Really is a callback to that. And I do feel like that. I feel like if, um, Health Test would have came out 78, 79, mid 80s, um, late 80s, mid 90s, early 2000s, 2000s, 2001, it would have regained more popularity, would have been talked about amongst the community. But since it came out at a time, as I said, where there's remakes, where you retcon every, you know, where you retcon everything after the first or second one and where you know Michael and Chucky and all of them are dominating it's no room for slashers and there's been so many times for for slash for new slashers for new horror icons for new movie monsters to have that spot to have that crown um even the you even the strangers even the strangers they had that opportunity but as i said it's the studio it's the studio it's doing it, you know. I mean, Hellfest, it's an awesome film. Tony Todd is in it. Tony Todd is in it. Great kills, great actors. I think the story's really good. Then the twist at the end with his daughter and all that. Maybe I'm kind of going on to, you know, onto a rant. That studios don't want to give recognition to new slashers with new possibilities. But maybe I am, you know, because... There's so many opportunities for new slashers and new horror icons. But the studios don't want to back it because the first film flops. I even heard somewhere, I think it was the director or the writer, wants to do a Hellfest too. They really want to do it. I, I, they really want to do it. But the studio don't want to do it. You know, it's so like right there just goes to show. Like it just goes to show that the studios don't care about Back onto the review, Hellfest. Love this film start to finish. I, it is a recommended watch. Um, I give this film a 10 out of 10. Really did enjoy it. Because you have to be a hardcore you have to be a hardcore horror fan to actually appreciate it, you know. If you did enjoy it, big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new. And I wish everyone in the next video.